So when I came to Warren Life, I just relocated to Charlotte. I was literally in a place of just working and doing nothing but working. That was my whole life at this point is working. And some things had happened in my life and I needed something and the only thing I knew to do was to go back to kind of my roots. Um, so I grew up in the church and so I was laying in bed Sunday morning and I googled um, churches near me. It had been over 10 years since I had set foot back in a church. Um, so I had been hurt by the church. Um, so I was very guarded. And then I read the About Me section of One Life and I was like, I can give this a try. And so I came to church at Cox Mill High School. I sat in the parking lot until church started. I came in the building and then left as soon as it was over. Um, and I did that actually for a couple of weeks um, and then um, started to just come on a regular basis and you know, finally uh, started to get to a place where I was willing to start to get involved and engaged. Um, so learning to trust people, again for me, was a very slow process of beginning to um, really trust people with very small amounts of information, um, you know, very surface level things. And slowly that began to get to a point where I began to open up and take down walls. When I talk about healing, I have to talk about the broken part first. Um, and I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, I was driving and um, I had literally got to a place where I knew the world would be better off without me. It was literally living the next few days, promise to promise, from where I had a phone call, where I reached out to someone because I had developed a small amount of trust. So the last year has been um, this place of understanding that um, God loves me for the person he created me to be, and not the person who my parents wanted me to be, not the person that my coaches needed me to be, not the person that I felt like the church required me to be, um, that I didn't have to be any of those things any longer, being here as long as I have been. Um, I have learned that my identity is not in other people's expectations. Um, my identity is found in grace. It's okay to have a story. It's okay to not be perfect. Um, it's okay to, you know, not be sure of yourself. Um, and not have all the answers um, and at the end of the day it doesn't change the way that God sees me. God still loves me the same way yesterday, today, and tomorrow.